to another booktube video from me lauren from lauren and the books i've had to take my glasses off because it is so dark in here the lights are reflecting off my eyes because it is the rainiest day i've ever seen it is miserable out there so today i thought would be the best day to talk about what books i'm going to take on my summer holiday so in a couple of weeks time i'm going to wales with five of my most favoritest people in the world and um, I, we're all big readers actually, so it's gonna be uh, gonna get quite a lot of reading done. It's a bit of a lovely chill out holiday. And I'm going to take with me eight books. We're there for eight days. Two of the days are traveling days. I am driving down to Wales, um, but I have every faith that I will hopefully get these eight books read. They are all um, of the young adult theme really. There's a couple in there that aren't, but most of them are young adult books. Just been on a bit of a young adult haul, seen so much young adult stuff on booktube recently that's just inspired me to buy these things. So without further ado, I will get going. So the first are three books that my boyfriend bought me that I've been going to read on this holiday. So the first one is This The Spe Spectacular Now by Tim Tharp. So this I found out about when I was on Pinterest and there was like a, um, a something on there that said, if you like um, The 14 Our Stars, then here are seven more books that you will like. And this was one of them. So I don't know much about the, the actual storyline, but I do like the 14 Our Stars. If I'm told I will like this, then I'm willing to give it a go. It is, I think it's now been made into a film with Miles Teller in it because it's got two little guys here. And this guy to me looks like Miles Teller. And I just remember something coming up with uh, Miles Teller in the film. So I think it's about two people meeting each other, falling in love. So that is the first book. Second is Looking for Alaska by John Green himself. Um, as I said, I love 14 Our Stars. I'm working my way through the John Greens. I've read the 14 Our Stars. I've read his short story and Let It Snow. I've read Paper Towns. And now I'm going on to Looking for Alaska. So the, the storyline of Looking for Alaska, I believe, is very similar to Paper Towns. It is about somebody looking for somebody, presumably Alaska. So I'm excited to read this as well. Um, it's also, yeah, Alaska Draws Mile. Miles into a reckless world and irrevocably steals his heart. So this will be exciting. And I just, I fly through John Green's. So I really do enjoy them. So excited. And the last book that David bought me is Eleanor and Park by Rainbow Rowell. Rainbow Rowell's surname, I really struggle to say. Rowell. Rainbow Rowell. Um, this book I have heard no bad things about. I know people that have read it who said it's just adorable, beautiful, lovely. So excited to read it. So looking forward to it, and I'm also reading it for my uh, radio book club, so it's going to be exciting to read it, and hopefully I can get one of the girls on holiday to read it as well, so we can have a little chat about it. So it's about two people in high school that fall in love in the 80s. If it's anything like Attachments by Rainbow Rowell that I loved, it will have lots of 80s references. Uh, it was uh, Attachments is set in the 90s, just before the millennium comes in, and it just had loads of hilarious re references about the millennium bug and things like that. So looking forward to this. Really am looking forward to this. So the next books that I are, the next are books that I have bought specifically for my Holly Bobs. And the first one is Lorelei by Laura Dockrill. So these are when I get into my books that I've seen on Booktube <laughs> videos. So this I've seen so much hype about on Booktube at the moment. The Hotkey Books, who published the book, had released quite a few um, advanced copies which people were reading and reviewing and saying how lovely it was. It is about a mermaid that washes up on the seashore of Hastings, which coincidentally is another holiday that me and my five friends have all been on uh, to Hastings. Um, and it is told from three perspectives. Uh, Lorelei the mermaid, the young lad that finds her, and the sea. And I'm just told that it is lovely. Everybody's been saying such lovely things about it. And I follow Laura Dockrill on Instagram and um, Twitter, and she just seems hilarious. And I just think that I'm gonna love anything that she writes. Um, the front cover is one of the most beautiful books I've ever seen. It's all scales, I don't know if you can see, but it is, it's all sparkly and scales. It's just beautiful, and I cannot wait to start reading it. I'm gonna have such a good reading. I'm not gonna do anything on this holiday apart from read. Sorry, guys. The next book I'm taking away with me is Only Ever Yours by Louise O'Neill. Again, one that I have seen on Booktube. Um, Sana from um, Books and Quills and Jean from Bookish Thoughts, uh, from Jean's Bookish Thoughts, have read this. It is about a school that raises wives for men. Now, I believe it's set in the future in, in a race where humans can no longer reproduce and babies are test tube babies and all the girls go to a school and learn how to be good wives. And then when they are 16, I think, um, they are picked out by a boy of a similar age and are made to be their wives. So it's all about being the most beautiful, the most thin, the most 
the best wife basically and I believe it's very very reminiscent and I thought this before somebody had even mentioned this um, that it sounds a lot like The Handmaid's Tale by Margaret Atwood um, and so I've heard it's like a YA Handmaid's Tale so I'm excited about this and I know that my sister will want to read it because she loves The Handmaid's Tale and yes Charlotte you can borrow this after me. So the next book I've got was uh, Jean Rees, The Wide Sargasso Sea. So out of my YA, YA hall now, um, this is a book that I read in sixth form. So anybody that studied at sixth form with me will remember this. Um, and I just loved it. It is a prequel, but not really a prequel, to Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte that I am also taking on holiday with me to read. So I'm going to read this, Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte. This is a copy I got in a charity shop and it's so beautiful. It's really good. It's in good nick for a charity shop. And then I'm going to follow that up with Jean Rees' Wide Sargasso Sea, because I, I can't really tell you much about this without you knowing the storyline to Jane Eyre. Is it a spoiler? Should everyone really know what happens in Jane Eyre by now? But basically it follows the life of a character in Jane Eyre before they came to be in Jane Eyre, and it's just great. And I think this copy's lovely as well. It's a penguin classic, and I just love the white spines. I want all of these. I'm going to buy all of these. So that's two more. And then the last book, which I'm looking forward to the most, is This One Summer by Julian Tamakai and Mari Mariko Tamakai. It is a graphic novel. I have read, I've only started reading graphic novels like two months ago, and this will be my third. Um, and I saw this on Booktube again on Mercy's Bookish Musings. Um, it is a graphic novel about two young girls that meet every summer um, and become really good friends and have a lovely friendship. And I think they have a bit of a fallout and it's what happens from there. But I'm told it's really beautiful. It's got some lovely messages in there and things like that. So, And also it's just gorgeous. I mean, look at that front cover and the spine and the back. And all throughout, the all the drawings all have a purple hue to them, all the artwork. And I'm just, I cannot wait to get into this. This is what I'm really looking forward to. I've, I've, I bought it, especially for the holiday, and I've been looking at it out of the corner of my eye thinking, I want to start you, but I'm not. I will wait until I get there. But I do have a question because I've never seen these before, but when watching American booktube videos, I see these quite often. So I was wondering, especially Julie from Juju Books, uh, do these mean that it's won some sort of award? Is that what this means? Because I've never seen them on, on English books. Never seen them. So we'd love to know what this is all about. I like them. I like them being there. I think they add to the purple, but I, I just wanted to know what they are. So they are my books that I will be reading on holiday this year. Eight books, eight days. Can I do it? I'm hoping to maybe do a video a day while I'm in Wales and just let you know how I'm getting on with, um, with the books and how I'm getting on and just find out what the other guys are reading as well because I think that would be really interesting. So here they all are. If you've read any of these, let me know what you think. If you think they're going to be really great for holiday reads, then I definitely want to know that. Um, what are other people taking on holiday this year? Have, have, has anyone got anything they're really looking forward to reading? I would love to hear from you. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and I will see you again next Sunday. Bye!